The family of the University of Idaho student murdered by her professor has filed a $3 million claim against the school. 22-year-old Katie Benoit was shot by her professor Ernesto Bustamante this past August. A claim is considered the first step in filing a lawsuit, and that five-page document says the University of Idaho failed to protect Benoit from her professor, a man with a long history of mental illness and violent behavior. KXY4's Annie Bishop has the story. It's been six months since 22-year-old Katie Benoit was gunned down by her former professor Ernesto Bustamante. Six months since we first heard the chilling call to 911. Can you tell me exactly what happened? Um, I don't know. We were in the house cooking and we heard shots and our roommate is outside covered in blood. Bustamante then killed himself, and now Benoit's family believes the University of Idaho should be held responsible for her death as well. In a tort claim filed in Boise, the family alleges the U of I negligently and recklessly hired and supervised Bustamante and failed to require Bustamante to get mental health care. Bustamante was open about being bipolar and having multiple personalities, including one called, quote, the psychopathic killer. Benoit and Bustamante were involved in a sexual relationship, but in June, Benoit filed a complaint with the university claiming Bustamante threatened her with a gun on several occasions. The claim alleges the U of I didn't do enough to protect Benoit and other students. The claim goes on to allege the school's recklessness was a, quote, substantial factor in Benoit's murder. That was Annie Bishop reporting, and this claim was filed in December, and according to the Idaho Statesman, the university has not responded just yet. The Benoit family now has the option to file a lawsuit.